Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of EDC knives with a look at the Concept Tarkin. If you're a fan of minimalist design and high quality craftsmanship, this knife might just be your new favorite tool. Let's check it out. First off, let's talk about the design. The Tarkin is a minimalist dream, featuring a clean and simple aesthetic that perfectly balances form and function. It's the kind of knife that looks great while being an incredible practical everyday carry tool. With an overall length of 7.87 inches long and a blade length of 3.42 inches, it strikes that sweet spot between portability and utility. Now onto this blade. Tarkin features a modified Tonto blade made from either premium CPM 20 CV steel or Damascus. Tons of different handle options. With 20 CV steel, this means you're getting superb cutting precision and durability. The slicey blade should really shine when it comes to slicing and fine cuts. Perfect for those detailed tasks, whether you're opening packages or tackling everyday chores. This blade should perform like a champ. Concept did a fantastic job with providing me with an incredibly sharp knife. And as long as you just make, you know, these decently sharp cuts, you got enough straight edge to do that. It, you may come into a little bit of uh, sliding out of the cut whenever you do these uh, longer drawn out cuts. But for, the, for this, no problem whatsoever. I, it's slicing very, very well. Um, I, I'm, I can choke up if I want to, just so I don't get hung up in that area. Or I can choke back, whatever's most comfortable. You know, hammer grip is comfortable, saber grip is comfortable. You know, I swap it up with just to try to see what all the different grips feel like. Now we're gonna test the Yergos here with the Pine 2x4 and start out with moderate pressure. And as you can see, it's just peeling this effortless. That means it has a nice crisp edge and it's got a good bite to it. So I start increasing pressure pretty, pretty rapidly and I felt like I felt like a glove. It was locked in, no hot spots at all. I'm able to get a lot of force. I was pushing hard, especially at the end. I'm really putting all my might into it. And yeah, very comfortable. Now the way that you have the belly for this like modified tanto, it makes doing these cuts on flat cutting surface so so easy because you can either do that push down, you can either either do a push cut. Or you can do a slicing motion cut with the belly. You can do a pull through cut if you want to. Um, you can do a push through cut if you want to. You can use the transition area where it turns into the straight edge from the belly. You know, you definitely have a lot of options doing the cuts on a flat cutting surface and that's probably where it's gonna excel the most. At least that's what I've noticed. And um, it, this test right here always shows how much bite the edge has to it because it'll show immediately if the edge is over polished or there's no toothiness to it or it's just not sharp because the sisal rope doesn't lie it'll skate right off the top of it and it's biting into it and it's biting into it quickly uh, even toward the, tan the tip of the knife it's still got good geometry um, I found it performed really really nicely in just a second. We'll see if we can use that tip I'm pretty sure you can just the way it's set up uh, Of course, I would probably just use the belly, but so yeah, you could use the tip You do have to come up a little higher than than normal, but it does show the versatility of this blade shape and I've kind of grown a, a liking for certain Tontos more so Tontos with belly but, um, you know, they both have their attributes. You know, the Americanized Tonto, you have that crisp secondary point. So, you know, every blade shape, there's, a, there's, goods and, there's good stuff and bad stuff. And I've been enjoying these Japanese Tontos. Now on to the handle. Made from full titanium, the contoured scales provide a smooth and comfortable grip like you just saw in the testing while keeping the knife lightweight yet durable. Mine has the tiger stripe pattern on it. It's 
basically a dark blasted finish that they do a zigzag anno on. Did a great job of knocking off all the hard edges by putting a chamfer all the way around. Got a nice little accented pivot collar there. Mine's got like a high satin finish on it. Torx T8 for the pivot. Unfortunately, they went with T6 for the body screws and the clip screws. This one has a black titanium backspacer with a slight gear pattern on it. Pretty much flush with the scales. Flip it over and you have a 3D mill titanium pocket clip that not only enhances the knife's aesthetic appeal, but also makes it easy to carry securely in the pocket. Perfect amount of tension, perfect amount of ramp from my pants, and you have about that much sticking out. Gives you something to hold on to when pulling out of the pocket. This is tip up right hand carry only, unfortunately. What I found to be really impressive is how ergonomic this grip feels. Despite its slim profile, Tarkin felt sturdy in the hand. Thanks to its thoughtful design and solid frame lock mechanism, you'll feel confident using this in a variety of tasks as you saw in my cut test without worrying about stability. I had no hot spots throughout all my cutting and I was able to get a lot of force into what I was cutting as well. When it comes to lockup, mine's sitting at around 30 to 40% or so. The access to the lock bar is fantastic. You can see how the lock comes up a little higher than the shift side scale. They got a bevel here so you can get to it a lot, lot easier, plus a bevel there. So it's very, very comfortable. I can get to it whichever way I want, no problem whatsoever. And this one is very solidly locked up. I cannot force any play up or down, left or right. That's always what I'm looking for. And that's what I meant by a nice, sturdy and reliable lock, as well as being so easy to get to. One feature that I wasn't sure I was gonna love is the deployment methods on this knife, but boy was I wrong. It has a front flipper as you can see there with some grippy jimping there, and you have a thumb disc, which usually I'm not a fan of, but I have to admit Concept did a fantastic job of dialing the detent for both actions. So if you wanna front flip it, I can easily do that. Thumb flick, and this thing comes out, and it comes out with authority. Nice drop shut action, riding on ceramic ball bearings and a ceramic detent ball. Reverse flick, no problem. Knuckle roll. Slow roll. Left-handed. Pretty much every type of deployment that you can think of with these is very easy and reliable giving you a lot of versatility in how you access the blade. The cage trimmed ball bearings ensure that the action on this one is incredibly smooth and responsive, making it a joy to use in my opinion. They have tons of internal pocketing in, the, in there to bring down the weight as much as possible. Coming in at 106.4 grams or 3.75 ounces. Not bad at all. Now for some size comparisons, we have the Ontario Wrap 1 and 2, which is in the middle of those two. Next we have the Spyderco PM2 Empire 3, it's in the middle of those. And it's very similar in length to the Concept Arcus and the Concept Fenrir. And lastly, it's a little bit smaller than the Concept Bulldozer, and it's just about identical in overall length to the Civivi Vision FG. Now for my nitpicks and complaints. Maybe use fine cut jimping, even though this one functions perfectly fine. It always functions a little better in my opinion. Bring the plunge grind all the way back so you can have all this to sharpen. You'll still have probably to where my fingernail is, so you'll have several sharpenings. So very minor nitpick. I would have loved to see T8 hardware throughout and of course no lefty love. All that said, I, I really love the knife. Another positive thing I want to point out is you can see this finish looks nice and clean. That is because they put the lock relief on the inside. I'm sure that was Matt's doing. I just wish more companies would do that. Why would you want to put that on this side if you didn't have to? I know it's an extra step, but it looks so much better. Not to mention, you don't have to worry at all about the pocket clip and getting bunched up in that area. Now, in terms of value, the Tarkin, in my opinion, offers an impressive combination of nice materials and a thoughtful design, and you'll be able to get a Christensen Knife Works design for a fraction of the cost compared to his custom pieces. If you're looking for a reliable EDC knife that excels in performance and style, this one definitely deserves your attention. To sum it all up, the Tarkin is a standout choice for anyone who appreciates minimalist design and functional excellence. It's lightweight, durable, and incredibly easy to use, making it a perfect companion for daily carry.
that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. If you're interested in the Tarkin, it will be linked down in the description. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more knife reviews and EDC content. Until next time, remember, keep the blade sharp, smile more. Beep.